What's up guys? Quarantine Saturday. What's going on guys? Quarantine Saturday. Hair is jacked. How you guys been? Hopefully you guys are safe and sound. Uh, I'm gonna basically put a hat on to protect you guys from the atrocity that's called my hair. Anyway guys, I'm gonna challenge you guys step by step how to do eBay. I know a lot of you guys have at least $500 to $1,000 just laying around your house right now. And I'm gonna show you step by step. You guys are at home anyway, right? I know you lot, a lot of you guys are work are not working. Um, some of you might have lost your jobs and you need something. Uh, eBay has saved my life. I have sold over $5 million worth of eBay product um, in my life. And I'm gonna show you guys how easy it is to do it um, so that you guys can have something to gain a little side cash, um, help yourself, and for those of you who want to take it even a step further, um, go into it full time like I have and made a very good living for myself. My eBay store is still uh, alive and well. I have ventured out from my own website as well as Amazon as well. So it is accessible for anyone, whether you're a beginner to an expert. If you like this video, please like and please subscribe. For more future videos like this, I'm not gonna be posting a lot of videos on this channel anymore. This is gonna be exclusively uh, uh, car related uh, videos. My new channel is gonna be related to eBay, business, stocks, lifestyle. Um, please subscribe to that channel and uh, let's begin. Side note, please click the like button down below. It helps the video reach out to people that might wanna learn how to do this and I'd appreciate it as well. All right, guys, we're in the garage right now. I'm going to see what I have in the shelves. I just moved in here, so let me see if like a scavenger hunt to see what kind of junk I've got in the garage and see what I can sell. Ugh. All right, jackpot. The 3GS iPhone. Let's see if it's still there. I have a 3GS 16 gigabyte iPhone. Um, I don't even know if I have a, car a charger cord for this, so I wouldn't even know if this thing works but I'll, I'll have to like get a retro one to see if this thing works. Um, old cell phone, HTC, AT&T. Oh look, this is the charger, the charger thing for it. A old Zune. Is it the same 30 pin thing? I'm gonna see. So I have some of that. Let's see, I'm gonna take this and we're gonna do some research. Okay, uh, I'm gonna keep it in here. Old chapstick. What's going on guys? We did our scavenger hunt at my garage in my house to try to find a couple of items to sell on eBay. I went ahead and chose a couple of different items because I wanted to show you how to list something that's new, something that's broken, and something that's used. So to give you a wide range of idea of how to list these things and what are the, the correct ways to doing this, okay? So first up, what do we have? iPhone 3GS, old school, in the box. Lovely, in the box. For some odd reason, people love to have it in the box. Uh, I'm telling you right now, if you have the original box with all the manuals or whatever, the price goes actually up. Now, does this thing work? Okay, I did plug it in. It did charge. Um, I don't know how long I have to charge it for, but at least I can see that something pops up. You know what I mean? Maybe the battery is completely dead forever. The screen looks dim. So I'm not going to sell it for new. I'm going to sell it for parts. Okay? Will it, you know, will it gain me any type of money? Very, very little. But I just wanted to show you that you can sell even broken things on eBay. Next up, guys, I have a PS4 game, Overwatch, brand new in the wrapper. I've never played this game. Um, me being busy and in business and doing all these other things, I really don't have time to play video games. Um, currently I do, I've been playing uh, Call of Duty. Um, so I'm gonna might put my gamer link down below if you guys wanna play with me. But anyway, um, PS4 Overwatch Origins Edition, okay? Brand new in the wrapper. I'm gonna post this. Video games are the easiest things to list, okay? And plus since it's in the in the wrapper, it might fetch me some a uh, little extra money. Next, we have an old digital camera that I uh, haven't been using forever. Uh, this particular item, I used to vlog with maybe three years ago. 
Uh, I don't have any more use for it currently, but it still works. It's still operational. Check it out. Boom, boom. Screen still works. Fantastic for vlogging. Very easy, very light. Now, this one in particular, I don't have, you know, all the little extra accessories or whatnot, but this should be, you know, um, you want to make sure that you show this thing functional and it works, the pictures you take, et cetera, et cetera. But it's operational. It hasn't been beat up or anything like that. So I'm going to list this one up for sale. Next up, Jordans. Okay, this is my first pair of Jordans that I wore one time, but I don't like Jordans. I don't wear Jordans. I'm more of an Air Max One type of guy. So with these, you know the sneaker market is crazy. Uh, these are Air Jordan Retro 3s. Let's check a look, take a look at them. Um, there you go. Uh, I, I wore this one time, but uh, she's not a Jordan guy. I got, I got all the little, I got all the little whatever in them. You know what I mean? All the, all the little accessories and whatnot in the box. Um, really not a fan, but somebody might want these. Somebody might want these, and uh, I'm going to, you know, make sure that I, I clean them up a little bit and uh, take some nice pictures and post them for sale. And I'll show you guys, uh, a lot of people, dude, there's a huge, like, there's a billion dollar market for reselling of shoes. I know that I'm not going to get what I paid for them, but hey, I don't, I don't utilize them at all, so I might as well put them for sale. All right, guys, now I'm going to go ahead and prep all my, um, my items, clean them up, and take photos of them for the next step, which is um, to prepare the listings for, for them on eBay. All right, pictures. This is probably the most important part. eBay gives you about a dozen photos that you can take. Try to take a dozen photos. Make sure you take any, any you know, blemishes or anything like that. Take as many photos as you can. All right, now it's time to list. I'm going to go ahead and search um, for Overwatch, and I want to make sure that I get the exact same product. There's a lot of different, like, like level like i don't know different editions you want to make sure you get the exact same edition for some odd reason uh this overwatch is expensive and i don't know they're brand new i don't know the, the, these uh they're pretty expensive but i want to take a look to see if anybody has even purchased them nobody's even purchased them um, I don't think I'm going to get this amount of money for them, so I'm just going to try to see if any of these items have actually sold for the price that they listed. Um, I want to see what the going rate is for a brand new video game. So I'm going to go ahead and click to sold items and see what actually people are paying for it. Because what something is listed is not necessarily what they go for. So um, we spoke too soon. We're not going to make 60 bucks. We're going to make around 20 bucks um, or under. So I'm going to click sell one like this because this, this is the exact same item. And the lovely thing about it is eBay has pre um, like filled out their sheet. So it's a stock photo. It's a brand new item. I don't you know, I don't have to post a new a brand new photo of it. All I got to do is, you know, get the pricing right. Um, let's go for, you know, what their prices are trending at, what they're selling at. The shipping is already pre-filled out. Everything looks good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and list it. And now we're going to get into the Jordans. Okay. This is a used item. So I'm going to go ahead and try to, you know, look for Jordan 3 Wolf Gray. And I see something that's going to be similar to what I have. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and go pre-owned because my, my shoes are used. And I'm gonna look for the listing that is the best listing, you know? I went to sold listings and I'm gonna go to the best looking listing, the one that's filled out the best, that has a, a good title, good pictures, okay? This is, an, this is an item right here that I can kind of see how, you know, the photos are taken, um, they look good, um, it, it's sold, so, this has been pre-filled out and I like it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click sell now. So it's pre-filled out just like uh, before because I want it to, to match what I have. So whatever 
item you have in the condition that's similar to yours, pick that item. Now, this is where we're going to uh, upload photos because my item is used. If it was brand new, it'd be a different story. Sneaker heads are very um, anal when it comes to the condition of the shoes, okay? So I'm going to uh, play around with the photos and the main photo is a terrible photo. So right now I'm uploading a photo, um, a main photo, the main thumbnail that's gonna look good. It's gonna draw people's attention, okay? So I'm gonna go and see one that you know has everything. It has uh, both shoes, it has the box in the photo. Uh, right now I'm gonna try to rearrange the photos and kind of group them to make some type of you know sense of why the photos are taken like that. I'm gonna crop this photo because my 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 nasty feet are in it. Cut that out, and it even makes it easier to crop photos. And uh, this this main photo has a piece of uh, a, a rifle in it. I'm gonna go ahead and crop that out and not scare any of y'all to not want to buy my shoes because I have a rifle in it. And uh, you know this main photo doesn't really um, catch my eye enough. Um, it's kind of cut off because of the box. I want to show. Um, the the potential buyers that you know it comes with everything it comes with the box it comes with all these nice cool things so I'm gonna crop this photo and uh, after I crop it I kind of like it better than the, the first main photo that I chose so I'm gonna go ahead and scoot it over to the main photo so that it catches more people's eye okay now the description is very short I kind of want to do some changes to it you can change it you know, it gives a very short and generic answer. But one thing I want to do, um, I want to put uh, worn once, okay? Because the condition is pre-owned. I don't really know how pre-owned it is. But when you put worn once, I don't know, it speaks to people's souls. Like, wow, you know, it's not going to be that dramatically used. You know what I mean? So right now, um, I want to... Um, Put a price to it, okay? I want to put a buy it now price price on it, nineteen ninety nine, okay? Um, I, it has a trending price, but mine's only worn once, so might as well put it up to a hundred dollars. The shipping's already been pre filled, and I want to preview it. I want to look at it, um, but it has the auction. I don't want to place it on auction. I only want to put it on a buy it now. Um, you can if you, you want to, but for me, I have all the time in the world, we're on quarantine, so I'm gonna remove the auction, and uh, it, it allows me also to take offers. So I'm gonna allow offers to be used, and then I'm gonna list it. Now, the next stage that we're gonna go to, guys, um, is I'm gonna do a broken item. iPhone 3GS. Uh, I'm going to look for something that's uh, similar to mine, 16 gigabytes. Um, it's black. And you want to narrow it down. You want to the you want to look look for the listing that most resembles yours. Um, I want to you uh, want to go down to parts or not working. Here it is. Click that. I want to see hey, what what people list them for? And then I'm going to go to sold items. What actually items have actually sold for amount of money? So I'm looking at the listings, which one has a good title, good photos. The people that usually take the, um, the people that usually take good photos and, and a good description, they usually sell for more. So I'm going to find this item right here that uh, it's for the iPhone. And I'm going to click on this particular item. And I want to copy. Um, I want to copy this one. So I'm going to click this one and sell one like this. Now you have to be very descriptive when you sell a broken item because um, you know people care. People, you know, I'm going to say the condition is poor. Um, you don't want to say, "Hey, it's really, really good," when it's really not. Okay, it comes with a box. That's it. You know, and it has a trending price. This is what they averagely. This is the average price that it sells for. So I'm gonna go ahead and list it. Um, I like the title. It pre-filled out everything about the item. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and, and upload photos because the stock photo, it doesn't look like that, okay? I'm gonna open them, okay? And if we don't have a camera, 
um, move it to the main photo, get rid of that. And I want to show, show the condition, like show what it's looking like. You know what I mean? Like show what it's going to look like. Okay, we're going to go here and uh, I'm going to put the starting bit at, I'm going to put, I'm sorry, the uh, buy it now at, uh, let's see here, what should we put it at? 14, because it has a box, okay, 14.99, that's what it's going to go for. And if people want to put offer, they can, okay, seven bucks, whatever, 50% of the price. Everything's been filled out, we list it, that's it, okay. Now, the final piece of the puzzle, um, we're going to go to the uh, digital camera and I'm going to find the, um, I'm going to find a listing, listing that most resembles mine, silver, uh, I'm going to go ahead and let's see if we can see one that uh, best describes mine, it's used. Um, I'm gonna go for highest price. Let's see what I can find. You wanna narrow it down, guys. You wanna see to make sure that it aligns with um, what you're, it resembles what you're selling. If, if the item has like, you know, 50 million accessories, don't expect that amount of money, okay? Um, try to narrow it down to something that's gonna resemble what you have. And uh, it's it's hard to find these types of, uh, types of things, but I'm gonna find something similar and we're gonna go from there and find this one that's going for uh, that's deluxe but I don't have all those accessories so I'm gonna make some modifications to this particular uh, listing that I want to sell one like and I'm gonna change the title I'm gonna change the title to you know portray honestly what I'm selling okay doesn't have any of the original box or whatever um, I'm gonna tell it it comes with a charger and it comes with an extra battery. That's all you get. That's pretty much all you get, okay? Um, now I'm gonna upload my photos. And uh, you get... All right, I'm gonna do some editing with photos. and get them up and running. Make this product look good, do a little crop. So that people are, are, are um, enticed by my photos to buy it. Okay, for me, I never do auction, guys, because I, you have an expectancy to try to sell an item within like seven or ten days, and uh, for me, uh, you know, you have to be patient in this type of game. And I usually do a buy it now. I'm going to generalize and 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 put the price around the average and a little bit above the average price of what they usually go for. I'm not going to try to, you know, have something unreasonable, but looking at what other items have sold for in the past, it gives you a good idea of what they sell for. So that's it. That's the camera. It's been listed. Anyway, guys, that's the video. Anyway guys, that's the video. Hopefully it taught you how easy it is to sell something on eBay, whether it be new, used, or broken. Hopefully you can take this time to do some spring cleaning out of your garage, out of your basement, do a little Marie Kondo and clutter and get it out of the way. Uh, hopefully you find joy in this. Um, and hopefully it gives you something to do during this time to get some little side cash. For those of you that want to learn more of this for future videos, please subscribe to my new channel, uh, link down below. Uh, those are all the new videos are going to be pertaining to business, eBay, lifestyle, vlogging. Uh, click on that one um, and take care guys, be safe and I'll see you next time.